Well, uh, the situation here is that Mark Kalkebeck here has missed his uh, go at a birdie, so it's now left on uh, up to Brad Faxon to make it to tie the lead with three other groups, Kite, Love, Elkington, Floyd, and Erwin Litsky. This to get to 27 under. Yeah, you see his grip and none much better. It goes a little to the left. Yes, absolutely into the centre. Four teams tied at 27 under par. And here a, a fifth team has a two two goes at it to, to uh, join them. <laughs> it does seem as if everyone's in the lead at the moment. Uh, O'Meara and Strange have both got a six-footer at 17 to join the four groups tied for the lead. And here they are. Mark O'Meara first. Uh, Greg and Nicky, they're not much in this part. Actually, Ben, I was sitting here thinking this is probably the easiest part on the hole right now. He's probably just got to put on the right ledge and just a little uphill and just make sure he hits it solid. Right. Well, he did. Like that. And you've got a birdie this hole, as Peter Costas rightly said. If anyone wants to win this thing outright, they've got to make a birdie here. And standing on the tee are, of course, the final group. <laughs> Just to prove you can make it. Back on the tee now, the last four players all tied for the lead. Steve Elkington has drawn an eight iron. There's absolutely not a breath of wind here. Not a leaf moving around this bowl. And really, uh, this, the, the overnight leaders, Elkington and Floyd, were nowhere for a while. They were only four under going out, which of course is uh, very ordinary, but they're seven under coming home, seven under after seven holes. <coughs> now, Raymond has got to get it very much closer than Elkington to have a realistic birdie chance. Down for a Raymond as well. A new pairing this. Floyd won with couples in 1990. Yeah. Nice shot to 18. After choosing Kite's approach, and it's a tough putt for Birdie. That's they, a big swing and putt mm, there. They desperately need one here to have any chance. Birdie, by the way, would tie tie the scramble record set earlier by Norman and Price. And Nikki, you really get a chance in this kind of format to try some shots that you don't normally attempt. Well, that's the thing, Jim. You know, you get out there and uh, you know you got your partner up about 15, 20 feet from the flag, and you just look at the hole. So whether you've got a two iron or a wedge or whatever it is, you're looking at the hole and. You know, it's a do-or-die situation, and that's what uh, that's what's so much fun about it. Back to 17. Hey, lerwin has got a six iron. The first player to use a six in all the three days, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> that will feed into the little hole there. That's no good. To 18. Well, Davis has a knack of making the winning putt at the 18th. He did it here last year. Well, that was that was four feet of break right there. You still have the record. Yeah, I think it feels pretty good to have that. 55. It feels <laughs> These good. guys are in there high-fiving each other. Except 55. Back to 17. Seven iron for Bruce Litsky. Bring it in from the left. Hoist it high as ever. Get back well, not uh, 
not an easy putt there at all. Okay, to finish up for the team. They made a brilliant run today, a 56, however, parring the 17th and 18th. Defending champions currently tied for the lead at 27 under, but teams on the course. So uh, they will wait, but it appears that at least one team will get to 28, don't you think, Gary? Look Hopefully we might be here forever. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, these guys are birding every hole. But, you know, guys, the uh, shots into 17 um, by Floyd and Elkington and Irwin and Litsky weren't that, they weren't back in there as far as you'd think they would be. And you got quite a dispersion, too. You got eight irons and six irons in that hole. Let's go to Ben Wright right now on 17. And uh, some shuffling around here as uh, some photographers have moved off. It's so small, this tiny green that... Uh, one person standing at the edge of the green really stands out like a sore thumb. It looks like, uh, yes, Litsky's ball has been chosen, as well it should have been because uh, Hales was in the swale to the right of this green, and you're not going to make much out of there. Greg, uh, would you like to read this part of Litsky's? Uh, no, I wouldn't really like to read this. <laughs> <laughs> but actual fact, Ben, it's really not going to do much. He's going straight up the green. He's actually got to come across a ridge about 10, 12 feet in front of his ball, and that'll have a tendency of kicking a little bit to the left. So I bet these guys are reading it probably about half a hole outside the right. I think you're absolutely correct there. But of course, Hale Irwin's legally blind without contacts or spectacles so he's had a very distinguished career considering that let's go to 18 while we wait O'Meara 165 yards away shark probably at seven iron looks like he's pulled it uh, six iron yeah, God, yeah. Well, yeah. really pulled it a little lot there pull Gary. Yeah. <laughs> in this format that's a pull <laughs> one of five teams tied at the moment back to 17 well, much debate, uh, as was being said yesterday, Irwin and Litsky, you'd think would be quite silent, but they talk a lot. There's a worm cam view with the minefield uh, comparatively clear for Litsky. Someone swept it. This to take the outright lead. Never moved. Never moved. It also took a, a bad bounce about a foot off the blade. Well, uh, Greg Norman said it would come from the right, and I've seen it come from the right before. didn't come down to 18. Curtis Strange will try to improve on his teammate, Mark O'Meara, who's in about 12 feet. Curtis made a little cut, little move at it. Jump back about 15 and 8 feet, so they're going to use Mark O'Meara's ball, which is about 8 to 10 feet. Let's go back to 17. And uh, really, they were very careful to watch where Steve Elkington and Ray Floyd because their their putt is on a similar not the same line it's right of uh, Liskey and Irwin but they were very keen to watch from behind those two Greg uh, what do you think about this I don't think it's going to do much well Ben actually the uh, the left side of the green as the guys are putting at it is going to affect this putt and the reason why uh, Litsky's and Irwin's ball didn't break is because the hole is nestled underneath the spurs. So these guys have had a good eyeball at it. So I would still think they're putting it inside the right edge of the hole. 